is Randy Thompson coming to you live. We have Trudy Adams on Miss Melody now. And Melody hasn't been ridden, and Trudy hasn't ridden for at least six weeks now with the winter weather we've been having. And as those of you who know Melody know, she's what we consider a hot horse. It's hard for her to stay in her body. She's very excitable, you know, a lot of thoroughbred influence. So we have to ride her differently than other horses because it's so easy for her to lose her focus, especially at that end of the ring where she has fears of mockingbird attacks. Good. So all you're going to do now is you're going to feel that half halt position and keep her waiting for you. Good. So the half halt we're using is taught by Robert Dover. And when Trudy does her half halt, she feels it in her belly, upper chest, then it comes back through her shoulder blades and she adjusts her seat. And this is the beginning of keeping Melody under her seat and connected from the get go because we took her out of the barn today. And as you can see from the tracks in the ring, we had to do a little lunging because Melody had the wind under her tail. Good. As soon as you feel her running through the edge, just do a half halt. See if you can connect her. If she won't connect, bring her to a halt. And but if I hold her, it makes it worse. That's right. Because she makes me honest without saying I need to let go. Yes, yes. And Trudy was talking about the length of time she holds the reins because we're asking her horses to go on a connection from the leg to the rein now, which means they can feel their horse's mouth more than what we were doing in the past. In fact, it was just this last fall we started with Melody being able to take a connection with her mouth without her. Good, good. Now all you're going to do is feel. She's just got to wait for you. Good. She's making her come to a halt on purpose. You'll notice that her sides are a little sweaty. That was from the lunging we were doing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but you know, when the horses have been out for a while, it's just smart to just let them lunge and get some of that stuff out rather than the rider having to deal with it. Good. Good. And it's spring. All right. Practice. Tell me when she falls apart. Right there. Feel it. Okay, so we're going to add to your half halt. You're going to start talking. Think, Melody, listen to my half halt. Praise her. Good. And then she escapes you right away. You feel it? Yeah. So you're giving away too much right after the half halt. She has to stay. And keep, that's it. Keep her connected and she's not going to expect it. So all we're doing now is Trudy's asking Melody to stay connected to her with the half halt, whether she's slowing down or doing anything at the walk, because as you can see, Melody would like to just go off and do her own thing right now. Good. Praise her. That's it. Now you'll notice you have to do it like every four steps. So now we're going to add a little bit more to that. We're going to add soften her with your inside rein and leg to get her inside jaw. Good. And then soften her with your out as the outside hind leg is off the ground. It'll be now for the outside. Now. Now. You'll feel her shoulder coming back. Now. 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 That's it. Outside rein will adjust where her pole is and it'll keep her nose where you want it to be. The inside rein softens her against it. That's it. You're going to point your belly button in the direction you're going so your thighs are having more of an influence on the shoulder and of course your lower legs control her back end. Good. And just feel. Try not to use so much inside rein. That's it. And then put her back together. You'll notice that when you change directions is where she disconnects. Yeah. So that's where you have to pick up your new outside rein a second sooner. A second. Maybe a second. So think, yep, switch her over to your new outside rein and see if you can get her there softener with your right rein and leg. Now, 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 that's when the inside hind foot is off the ground, which is what they teach at the Spanish riding school. The steps to connection, we are talking about softening the inside jaw, softening the outside to make sure the pole's in the right place, using the thighs to control, influence the shoulders, and using the lower rider's lower leg to control the haunches are all taught by author Codas of the Spanish Riding School. Good, good. Retired director. Good. That's all right. That's all right. So just keep her connected. She's saying she's still breathing. She she ran quite a bit. But you needed to. Right there. Did you feel her escape? 
So if she escaped, you weren't asking her to stay under your saddle with your outside rein and legs softening her. So remember, it's not a hold. It's you're going to ask with your rein. Are you here, Melody? Can you hear my outside rein? That's it. Ask her it. Say, Melody, can you feel outside rein and leg is what it is. Good, good. Now every time you change direction, you're going to ask her verbally, out loud, if she's feeling the outside rein. This is really for the rider, not the horse. Somehow the rider saying the words keeps them more aware of if the horse is really listening to them. So you can hear that. Good, good. Feel the difference? So you can see she kept her much more, uh, Trudy kept her much more connected on that change of direction by using the words. I don't know why it works that way, but it's a good thing. Another thing that, uh, that's it. Good, good, good. Good. Now she's starting to connect with you more, isn't she? Yeah, still tugging on me a little bit. Well, but... she will. You know, normally by this time she's got her head up in the air and she's looking for mockingbirds. So we'll accept this after six weeks off for her to come together this quickly. It's a gift. Good. Good, Trudy. That's it. And now you're feeling if she leans on the rein, you have to soften her jaw. Make sure she's loose in the pole. Use your th point your belly button in the direction you want to go so your thighs influence her shoulder. Good. Bring your lower legs forward just a little bit so they're under your seat. Because it's been doing it for a long time. We all have to go through those changes. Bad leg. Bad leg. Bad leg I know. <laughs> if only we could fix it softener. I know. They have minds of their own. Our whole riding position. Good. Yep. Is she in front of your saddle or in back of it? In front of it or under it, I should say. Just a slight bit in front of it, but I'm trying my best. Good. Good. As long as you're aware of it. So you might have to slow her steps down. Yeah. So what we mean by in front of is when a horse is taking a rider or on the front end, it feels like and they're in front. That, that's right. That's when they feel like they're not under the rider's seat. So what Trudy is doing is she's picking up a rein and feeling when Melody is under her seat. First, it comes from the. Of course, it comes from the leg at first, but she feels it by adjusting what she's doing with the rein. There, there. Feel her come under your seat. She's starting to pick her back up. Good, good. Praise her a lot. Good. Now she's doing a more relaxed walk. That's it. Good. That's it. And I like how you're giving the rein after she connects with you. Good. So you've got the steps of the connection nice. We know that she's just a little worrywart sometimes, so she will try to disconnect because she's not used to it. You know, we just, we've only done this a couple times before winter hit. Yeah. Remember, it was just last winter that she made the big shift, like one week before and then winter hit. Yes, you are. Yes, you're using your thighs by pointing your belly button. So this is this is really great she can do this because we only really rode her in connection like one time. Maybe twice. Because she had just started staying connected with you. So for her to come back after this long winter like this, this is pretty good. Good. Take your time. You can hear her talking about using her inside rein and leg. Good. Now... Now, now, good, 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 good. Good. So what she's saying is she's playing with different ways to use the reins to keep Melody more connected. Good. Okay, let her have a little walk break now. That was a nice warm up.